Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. I am feeling so happy to see you all today. It's Miss Amanda. I was hoping that you might want to read a book with me. Do you want to read with me? Yes? Oh, yes, you yes. want to read. That's so exciting. Okay, well today I have the story, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. It's about a mouse who gets a cookie. It looks like a chocolate chip one. That's my favorite. When Mouse gets his cookie, he is going to want a lot of different things. He doesn't just want a cookie. Are you ready? I think let's read and find out what different things Mouse gets. If you give a mouse a cookie. If you give a mouse a cookie. Right? Mouse wants. Want. He wants a cookie. He wants something to eat. If you give a mouse a cookie, ooh, he is going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him a glass of milk, right? You're gonna give him milk. Yeah. But when you give him the milk, he is going to want something different. He's going to want something different. He'll probably ask you for a straw. Here's a straw. And when he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. I'm going to go to our dishes. He's going to ask for a straw. And then he's going to ask for a napkin. The silly mouse. Then he'll want to look in the mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. Uh-oh. When he looks in the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. Uh-oh, look at those whiskers. They're getting pretty long. He needs to cut his whiskers. If he wants to cut them, he's going to want something different again. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep it up. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. Whoa, look at that. Mouse is cleaning. He's made big dust piles with his broom. He may even end up washing the floors as well. Oh, thank, thank you. you, Mouse. It is so clean. Cleaner. Whoops. It is so clean. Hmm. But when he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap, right? He's very tired from cleaning. He's very tired. He's going to want to take a nap and go to sleep. sleep. If Mouse is going to sleep, he's probably going to want something different. different. Let's find out what he wants. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. Here it is, there's Mouse's box. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. Look at him fluffing his pillow. So it sounds like Mouse needs a pillow and he needs a blanket so that he can sleep. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. Oh, like us, we're reading a story. So you'll read him one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. Ooh, 
But when he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. Ooh, Mouse wants to draw. I think that he is going to want something different again. He wants something different so that he can draw. Right? Mouse wants to draw. Hmm. I wonder what Mouse might need. He'll ask for paper and crayons. Mouse is going to ask for paper, paper. and he's going to ask for Crayon. crayons. Ooh, he'll draw a picture. Nice job, Mouse. I can't wait to see what you draw. Oh, look, Mouse drew a picture of his family. I see Mouse and Mom and Dad. And sister. Oh, wait, that's Mouse. This must have been his brother. Brother, mom, dad, sister, and Mouse. That's his whole family. His family. I think you're at home with your families right now. Maybe you can draw a picture of your family after this story's finished. Right? Yeah. Maybe you can draw your... Family. Family. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. He's so excited. He wants to say, hey, that's mine. That's my picture. Hmm. To sign his name, Mouse is going to need something. That means silly Mouse, he's going to want something different again gonna sign his name with a pen. Then he'll want to hang the picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need scotch tape. Uh-oh, look at that boy climbing in the closet to find tape. Mouse is taping his picture on the refrigerator. If you draw a picture, maybe you could tape it on the fridge too. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty. He's thirsty. Oh, poor mouse. Thirsty. If he's thirsty, hmm, do you remember what mouse wanted to drink? He'll ask for a glass of milk. Mouse wanted milk in the beginning. Milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he's going to want a cookie. He's going to want a cookie to go with it. Cookie. The end. That mouse, he's really silly, huh? Mouse is very funny. funny. Mouse is funny. He got a cookie, but then he wanted all these different things, like a straw and a napkin and then nail scissors and a broom. He is a very, very silly boy. But at the end of our story, he finally gets his cookie and milk. Yay for Mouse. All right, Mouse is gonna go eat, eat his cookie. I think we're done reading the story. Remember, in our book, Mouse had a lot of fun drawing a picture of his family, right? Mouse really enjoyed drawing. Maybe you can draw something today and hang it on your fridge. All right, guys, bye. I'll see you next time.